Motherfuckers are always asking me, Hood, you a big boy. Where you get your confidence from? I be like, I caught it on sale at the 99 cent store, motherfucker. Y'all ready to slide into some of these hood facts? Hood folks out there, it's now time for your hood facts for this week. In today's hood facts, we are talking about bigotry, bigots, you know, motherfucking hypocrites. Let's go on a slide into these hood facts. You know, in life, I really distance myself from a lot of fuck shit and a lot of bullshit. And I get called fake a lot because a lot of people say, even though I make my videos and when I make my videos, I'm really myself in these videos. I'm not trying to put on no front. You don't see me trying to go, you know, buy new outfits just to make a video. Go get my hair cut every week just to make a video. I don't do that shit. I'm just myself. I cut the camera on and I be myself at all times. I'm, a, I'm the realest that I know. You know, I don't know about the next person, but I know a lot of bullshit. And so that leads me to the today's hood facts. It's a lot of fucking hypocrites and bigots in the world. And I don't fuck with them. I realized the other night when I was about to ride out, my friend circle is like small as fuck. I mean like all the people that I really fuck with for real, for real, we can all fit in my car at one time. And that's for real, for real. Because I distance myself from a lot of fake ass people that include people in my family, that include people that I know, friends or whatever. I don't fuck with hypocrites and I don't fuck with bigots. We say the word hypocrite, the first thing we think about is a church person. A person in the church, you know, doing living a certain way. But this whole video is not about to be about church folks. But let me go and get the church folks out of the way first so we can get to the rest of the bullshit. Now, I can't stand to be around church people that live a certain life in the church. You know, I got friends on Facebook and friends that... And, and, and Facebook and stuff, you know, they got church folks up. Man, I am not about to talk like that on Facebook. All my church people are going to see me. Oh, I'm not about to post that on Facebook. My pastor might see me. But in real life, all you talking about is fucking and drugs and sex and stealing and money and just a whole bunch of bullshit. I don't like them kind of people. Honestly, in life, I really feel like the reason some church people go through so much hell is because they put on a fake front. In front of people, but God know your heart. And see, God, you sin in secret and he fucks you up in public. <laughs> yeah, that's how I see that shit, just like that. So we're not talking about church folks. I'm not I'm I'm not talking about church folks on this whole video. So that's why all I gotta say about church folks. Church folks, y'all know you're living foul. You know your life ain't hitting on shit. That's why you keep going through so much shit. Because you ain't hitting on shit. But let's get to the real shit I'm talking about. So you can understand what I'm talking about. Let me give you a couple examples. Number one, okay, I got some people that I know, in particular this guy I know, I ain't gonna call no names because I don't need nobody to try to sue me for my little two dollars I got. <laughs> but no, seriously, you know, every time I see him, he always like, man, you should start eating organic foods. You should start shopping at Whole Foods. You need to give up eating all that McDonald's and Burger King. That shit ain't good for you. And you should stop eating hot Doritos. And you should stop eating all those hot chips. And you should not eat processed food. That shit bad for you. You really should give up milk. And you should not drink orange juice. You know, every time I see him and other people, it's always about certain foods that's bad for you. Or that's killing you. That's killing you. But at the same time, this same motherfucker, listen now, this same motherfucker smokes cigarettes longer than my dick. Listen, this motherfucker, all, every time I see him, what's up, hood? What's up, man? Always smoking a cigarette. Always smoking a cigarette. So I guess getting lung cancer and fucking up your inside with cigarettes is okay as long as you ain't eating unhealthy foods. See, that's the kind of fuck shit I don't fuck with. If you're going make, to your, make your whole body perfect, why the fuck you going to try to condemn me if I decide to eat a certain food or drink milk or whatever, but yet you sit up polluting your body with cigarettes? Oh, that's just like the motherfucker that try to tell me that and all they do is just drink liquor all the time. Drink liquor all the time. When I first moved to Texas, I met this cat and he, every time I saw him, he had a beer in his hand. Every time I saw him, he had a beer. And he's always tell me, Man, you know it's a lot of a lot of hood places in this in, in Dallas. You better not be eating out of no soul food shit. That shit'll clog up your arteries. So I mean, we we were cool and whatever. So I saw his sister about a year ago. I said, What happened to old boy? He died. What happened to him? Had cirrhosis of the liver. 
Oh, so he didn't die from eating McDonald's or he didn't die from eating hot chips, but he drunk himself to death. I guess drinking myself to death is better off dying than eating a certain type of food. See, I don't fuck with fake people. I don't fuck with bigotry. I don't fuck with hypocrites. Why the fuck you gonna try to talk down on somebody for one thing they do when you doing some shit that is just as bad? Fuck shit, I don't fuck with that. Second option, you know how you got some females and let's say they sit on their for front porch and whatever and they be chilling and they got a good job or they got a decent job or you know they, they got a house and whatever and then you know the chicks that stay down the chicks that walk the corner all the time you know they fucking everybody they wear low top shirts showing their titties off showing their ass off they just hoes everybody know they fuck everybody in the community but you got these chicks all they do is look down on them chicks ooh they so nasty they should be doing that shit they ought to be shaming themselves sucking dick and Fucking all these random dudes, they so fucking nasty. But flip the script though, these same women, now listen, these same women that's so fucking, so fo fucking pure and righteous or whatever, they got four baby daddies and don't know the daddy's name. They fucking everybody, they going on chat lines, me men, fucking random men and don't nobody know about this cause they do this shit behind closed doors. They fucking the deacon in the church, or they fucking they supervisor to get a, a higher raise, or they hoeing off and pimping out. Oh, they got this one baby daddy that they use him to, you know, I got, they got pregnant by this guy so he can pay bills and stuff. They just using him or whatever. Oh, so you mean to tell me you talk down to the hoe and the prostitute who ain't shame of what she do, but the shit you do behind closed door, that's cool. See? That's the kind of fuck shit I don't deal with. I don't deal with hypocrites. I don't fuck with hypocrites. For real, for real. I hate people like that. Uh, what about, you know, you you know you got somebody in your family. I got people in my family that do this shit all the time, and they just bury me fucking up. And I don't give a fuck if you watching it. You mad? You ain't mad, is you? <laughs> anyway, they'll go out in the street, and, you know, it could be an old lady, an old man, somebody they know, or somebody who ain't hitting on shit, but they older than them. And they'll get them all kind of respect. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, bless you. Have a good day. How you doing today? Good morning. They'll do all this nice good shit to strangers in the street or to motherfuckers in the street who don't give a fuck about them, but come down to their own mama or daddy or family members and show them no kind of respect. I don't fuck with people like that. I promise you, I don't fuck with people like that. If I'm going to disrespect my mama, cuss my mama out, and talk shit in front of my mama and do her bad, you best believe every motherfucker that's in the street going to get the same cussing out and even worse. I'm not going to be sitting up respecting Oh, Miss Susan Lou, you know, the woman that stayed down the road called, Hey, Miss Susan Lou, how you doing? Then I see my mama. Hey. Oh, uh, I'm driving in my car. And I see an old lady drop a bag on the ground. And I get out my car stop. How you doing today, Sister Clara? I'm praying for you, blah, blah, blah. And then call my auntie. I ain't speaking to that bitch. I fuck that bitch. I ain't no, I'm not doing that. That's, that's the kind of hypocrisy shit I don't like. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of people. That's the kind of shit that makes me see. Uh, what about the people that sit around and... They see celebrities and see famous people. Oh my goodness, I can't believe Jay-Z ain't giving all this money to the people in Baltimore that need the money. Or, or I can't believe that Kanye West, he got all this money, but he ain't helping out the schools and stuff. Or I can't believe uh, Janet Jackson got all this money and she ain't giving to the community. They ain't helping out the black community or they ain't helping out their community. But your bitch ass to get your paycheck on Friday, they have $20 in your ashtray and be driving down the street and see somebody who needs some food and you won't even let your woman down and get him no dollar. You come out the gas store buying you some snacks and you know this man this man been sitting on the corner for the past two weeks and he added he took a bath in two weeks and you won't even reach down in your pocket or reach down in your pocketbook and get him a quarter or give him a pen or nothing. But you can hit you know you can get on Facebook and Twitter and talk shit about the celebrities. Oh, they ain't doing nothing for the community. They ain't doing nothing but helping out the black community or any community. But bitch, you ain't doing nothing in your own community. So how the fuck you gonna talk? That's the kind of bigotry. That's the kind of hypo hypocritical shit that I don't like. That's the kind of people that I don't fuck with. I'm telling you, I meet a lot of people. And people be like, Jeremy, you're so funny. You're so cool. But when people really get to know who I am as a person, I don't fuck with a lot of people. People be like, man, you're so funny. But then when they really get to see what kind of person I am, that I don't deal with a lot of bullshit. I'm not fake. I don't front. Then they be like, man, I can't fool with you, Jeremy. That's the reason why you don't hear me say the word nigga. I'm saying it now in this video, but for the most part, that's why you don't hear me say the word nigga. People be getting mad at me because I don't use the word nigga. What I look like 
calling all my homies niggas, I call them people nigga, and then I somebody white call me nigga and I wanna fight. Ain't that being a hypocrite? Ain't that bigotry? That I, if I'm wrong, then leave it in the comments and tell me I'm wrong. This is what the whole point of this video is. I don't fuck with a lot of people. I don't deal with a lot of people because a lot of people are fake as fuck, full of shit, are hypocrites, and talk one game and do a whole nother. I don't do that shit. The shit I talk, the shit I live, I'm me at all times. Loud, ghetto country's here. Like I always say, I'm just a loud, ghetto country ass boy from Alabama. What the fuck do I know? Them your hood facts.